I've seen more of this war than you can imagine. None shall be untouched by the fires above. Faith lies in ashes. Our fragile alliances crumble to dust as this world is torn asunder. Is in. Will you stand against it? Or lead this world to its bitter end? Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? We're going to give it a try, at least. No one is doing anything. The Chantry is useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, he is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. <laughs> this victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? 
The Templars? The Maker's Will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us, and your Inquisition, is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Well, that was a What's change. that? An arrow with a message? Find friends among the stunned and reeling.
We should look around. Left us. The Templars left us to the mages. Same old. Do we? I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. My creep. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. 
Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. The Majors weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. And I've seen the Chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Return to Haven. They know who I work for, at least. Errol the Vandraste. How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. We'll survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Ugh! Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me, arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just a person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the herald thingy. Some believe I'm the Herald of Andraste. But who are you? And what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone's equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Cheeky, yeah? Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> So, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. All I know about you or your group is that I followed a random trail into a trap. What trap? You knocked, he crapped. It's... Look, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? 
It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. If you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Back there you wanted to know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere and now you glow. Andraste's Herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say and all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And, of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the fate. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider. 
restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden dog lord. <coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think his sword would end the shame of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont-Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtess of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal Magus of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in the city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the orders somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been... very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, 
The same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Let's see what we have. To work?
Let us begin. All repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. What's the message? We've got word of some Devinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I don't understand. Even the Templars have left the Chantry now. What's going to happen? <laughs> Day to you. Researcher Minet believes these notes could assist you. Your Worship, for what it's worth, welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been... delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the Wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul.
Chargers, stand down. Krim, how'd we do? Five or six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. I assume you remember Chromisius Aclasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything, personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> the Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger, the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? They're a Kunari organization, right? The equivalent of their guards and city watch. I'd go closer to spies. But yeah, that's them. Or, well... Us. The Ben Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Orlais. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone there, not much. But if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. You're a Kunari spy, and you just... told me. Whatever happened at that Conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. All right, you're in. Excellent. Krem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven.
We've been searching the region for resources. Commander's orders. No small task given recent troubles, but I've some supplies here. You We've some supplies fun. here. Those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. These must be the missing soldiers. I will see that their families are notified when we return. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesarian. If you're interested, it looks like we can challenge their leader. Hesarian's blade is supposed to represent mercy, not random slaughter. Right. Blades and their challenges. Biggest sword wins. That move you performed in our last fight was well executed, Bull. I'm impressed. Thank you, Seeker. I'd be happy to teach you. If you had done that in our last sparring match, you might have won. <laughs> then it's time for a rematch.
someone's come with a challenge. The others failed. So you would challenge the blades of Hussarian? There's been enough violence. Stand down. I earned my place here. Do you think I'll step aside for you? The rest agree to play nice, right? Your worship, the blades of Hussarion are at your service. If you want eyes on the coast, here we are. I've not heard of the blades of Hussarion. Our work is often misunderstood, but we serve Andraste and whoever proves worthy of wielding us. You and your blades are loyal to the Inquisition? We're loyal to you. I suppose that's the same thing. Your Worship. So there's no ill will over what happened with your former boss? The man was a bastard. You're not the first to stand up to him. You're just the first to win, and we're happy with that. Besides, I would rather swear my life to the Herald of Andraste. I should go. Safe travels, Your Worship. Otherwise, it's good, good to have cop. for any trouble. I'm tracking someone. A Grey Warden who might be in the area. Ah. You must mean Blackwall. Good man. Kept us safe when the demons attacked. When the breach opened. The breach? <laughs> All I know is things got bad when it opened. The Warden helped stop the demons while we got away. Without him, we would have... We took what we could from the farms, then the bandits came and stole all that. Made Blackwall mad as blazes, like it was the last straw or something. He conscripted the other farmers and headed after them, down the road there. I haven't seen them since. Your friends were conscripted? Did Blackwall force them to go after the bandits? Oh, he could have. Wardens have that right, don't they? Seems like fair trade for saving everyone during blights. Anyway, he didn't force, he rallied. 
said blights and demons are his job, but we'd have to learn to fight thieves like that ourselves. Oh, boys didn't argue. Oh, he really fired them up. But not you. I'm old. And someone had to stay back. Black Wolf fought off demons for you. He saved us. Stood, shield out, cutting them down as they came, like nothing we'd ever seen. Said it was his duty, fighting things like that. Didn't ask for pay or nothing. Even though wardens can take what they want. Might make some people nervous, but I say they deserve it. Especially after I saw him work. Know anything about the bandits? They were just a nuisance, threatening people along the paths for tolls and such. But this time, they robbed us blind. Yes, the hole in the sky or black wolf fighting demons spooked them. Made them want to stock up and run. Not sure why. Can't exactly run from the sky. I have to track him down. Any idea where Blackwall is now? Can't say. They left down the road there, following the bandits. You find him, say thanks again for me. If I were younger, I'd have followed, no question. So, set up camp or keep moving? are just bandits. Too well armed, too well organized. to fight, not us. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said... <laughs> That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. 
Conscripts, here they come! Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. What's the Warden purpose got to do with throwing farmers at bandits? This was different. I was in the area recruiting, fought some demons, then I heard about the stealing. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a Blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of Blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Anderfels, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months. Years. It's been a pleasure, Warden Blackwall, but this didn't help at all. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition. <laughs>